What you got? Dude, come here. Here. Framing day 11, eight guys here. Well, seven guys, one girl. Gonna be a good day, Tater. So, uh, as you can see, the south side is now, the lower south side is now trussed out. They're running lacers. Um, we've got eight guys here today. As I said, it's probably going to be our last day here. Uh, we have got to go finish another uh, big house we're doing that's about 6,000 feet. And then I've got three houses to start. So, uh, we really need to finish this today. Um, and then we'll put the metal on um, as we can so anyways we are uh, pretty much laced out on this side oh look who's come back what'd you do with your glove laced out on uh, this side all the way down not just the uh, the trusses but the laces on top of them and then all we have to do this finish the lacing where he's standing is about two rows left of two buffaloes there. Then after that's done, the guys on the other side are lacing out their trusses. And um, and then we are ready while they're lacing out their trusses, we are gonna build scaffolding right down the center of this so that somebody can grab the truck and pass it over. Uh, and the truck that I'm talking about are these right here. These are pretty big boys. So anyway, they'll uh, at least have hopefully all the trucks is set today. But uh, worst case scenario, we just have uh, a couple left to do, but either way, we'll be able to get measurements done today. So anyways, I'll stop back by later. What is up YouTube? We are pulling into the property on day 11 of framing our barn. Um, and today's a big day because they're setting a bunch of trusses. You saw probably um, in the last video you saw a like a quarter of one side done or a half of one side quarter of one side because there's two sides and two halves so um yeah anyways we are getting ready to pull up now 
and uh, earlier in the day they had both lower sides done and uh, now they should be putting on the big upper trusses and I think I see them on through the trees but uh, I want to turn the camera around and let you see it for the first time just as I'm seeing it for the first time and uh, yeah check it out I think this thing has turned out to be uh, once the back walls got built and these trusses what I've seen so far have gone on it is uh, pretty ridiculous um, how big this thing has gotten um, I think I might move into it, forget about building a house and just move into this, as well as my entire family. Our compound will just be this one barn. Um, it's so big. And I think part of the reason why it looks so big is because I framed it traditionally. And uh, so there's just a lot of wood, like you would a traditional house. And so there's just a lot of wood in this thing. It looks like a fortress. Um, it's uh, built to last for sure. So. Uh, anyways, without further ado, I'm going to tease you just a little bit more. I just wanted to show you how green it's been so wet here in Oklahoma. Um, and it's just spring and the perfect time of year. There we go. The camera finally adjusted down. I mean, it is like lime green all the way through there. What I need to do is go check on uh, the blackberry bushes, all of our blackberry patches um in the next maybe this weekend we'll go do that and we'll go see how those are coming because uh it's getting close to that time of year where uh blackberries are going to start coming on so uh that's pretty much what we named the place for so uh i should at least show you how many blackberries we have so wild blackberries anyways so here we go we're seeing it for the first time let's get this turned around so you don't think i'm cheating If you can hear the whining Dukes with us, he knows we're here and he really, really, really wants out of his box. Oh my goodness. That is a beast. Wow, that looks good. Wow, that looks good. That is gonna look so good. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Okay, well there you have it for right now. Let me get out of the truck, get this thing parked, let Duke run for a little bit, and uh, I'll walk you around. Holy crap, that thing's a beast! Don't run until the trusses get up there, huh? Huh? Don't run until the trusses stand. No, man! That thing looks good. That's crazy up there. Go uh, get it from the side and see how far down the side they are. So they are almost halfway. By the way. You couldn't pay me enough money to be right there right now. That, no bueno.
That's crazy. look at it from this side this thing is just crazy cool His head right now is probably 34 feet in the air and he's standing on one board. Isn't that freaking nuts? They do it every day. Let me focus in on him here. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This stupid thing's so tall I can't get far enough back away from it to even show it to you. There we go. There we go. Golly, look at that. Now maybe this will help put it into perspective from where I'm standing to how tall he is. nuts let's go walk upstairs and check it out from in there now that there's a, a ceiling up there hopefully I don't get a phone call that says they wanted half of those cut out there wasn't supposed to be an entire roof up there I'm kidding by the way Hey Ty, I just got a phone call. They actually wanted a third story mezzanine in here, so we gotta throw some beams in here and cut it all out and floor it. <laughs> it's always no problem. Yep, no problem. Yep. Well, it's eight foot ceilings in here and you can definitely tell the difference in downstairs and upstairs, but this is just storage and it's all you need. So this is pretty cool. Let's go find Duke. <laughs> 